Hey guys, it's Schnickerman here back with another video. Today we're going to look at Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory, and I'm going to show you how to get five different trophies that are commonly missed in a playthrough of the game. I'm going to have timestamps and section off the video, so if there's one you want and not the others, you can skip to that portion of the video, and be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. The first trophy we're going to talk about is Dawn of a New Legend, which we have to digivolve a Sasanomon. So to get the Digimon you want, I recommend going to the Digi Lab, and there are different requirements that you may need. Come to the store over here, and scroll down a little bit. These different foods will help you get your cam up, which is very useful for DNA digivolution. So you can see those. Then you start getting into ones that raise your raw stats. Now note that these are super helpful because some Digimon, when you level them up to 99, will not be have the required stats. However, if you look at their price, they're quite expensive. But you have for one for HP, SP, attack, defense, intelligence, speed, etc. So keep that in mind. Um, try to get a lot of money if you want to use the strategy and speed everything up. And once you have those items, you need to put those Digimon in the farm. Let's take farm one, for example. Now I can select any of these Digimon I want. And if you see now there's an option. Um, if you look at the bottom right left hand, if you look at the bottom left hand corner, there's Digi meat. This will give him cam if I give it to him. And you can switch through. These give me more cam. This gives him speed up. This gives him attack up. And so you'll just have to do this. And then your Digimon will be able to uh, Digivolve. Make sure that for Digimon that have an ABI requirement as shown here, the only way to get ABI is if you look at the stats of your Digimon, see here you have 110 ABI. The only way to get more is to de-Digivolve and level it up and then re-Digivolve. So to get Sasanomon, first you need a Magna Gururumon and then you also need a Kaiser Greymon. So when you get both, you can see here that you need your CAM or CAM to 100% on both. ABI is one of the most tedious processes in order to get, but when you finally do it, it's very rewarding. So now for the trophy, we're gonna go for Sasanomon. Finally, I have all the requirements here. We reached everything with both Kaiser Greymon and the Magna Gururumon. So now we're finally going to Digivolve, and I'll show you the cutscene. So we're going to pick our Greymon. And there we go. We get the trophy, Dawn of a New Legend. And there he is, Sasanomon. In all his glory. And there's his base stats, which are actually pretty high. And trophy number two we're going to talk about is called Twin Chaos, which we need to Digivolve both a normal Chaosmon and the Chaos Mon VA. In Farm Island 4, I have a Boncho Leomon, and if you can see here, this would be our Chaos Mon. We need a level 60 or higher, 255 attack, that's easy to get. If you need a stat boost, you can buy an item. ABI is 40, if you don't have enough ABI, D-Digivolve and then re-Digivolve until you have at least 40. And CAM, you need 100%, and then you need a Dark Dramon, which also needs a CAM of 100%. To get CAM, you can put your Digimon in the Digifarm and give it meats. And the better the meat, the more CAM you'll get, and it's fairly easy to get to CAM 100%. So now that we have everything in place, all we have to do is click on this, and we combine it with our Dark Dramon. And there is our original Chaos Mon. Now, in order to get the other half of this, we need a Chaos Mon VA. So in order to do so, we basically have to de-digivolve into Boncho Leomon, because Boncho Leomon is used in both evolutions. So now, when we look at Boncho Leomon, now we have to target this. So we're almost there, we just have to re-level the level 60 and make sure our intelligence is 100, and also make sure you have a Varo Durumon and that the CAM for both is 100%. So make sure when you're leveling back up to 60 that you have that other Digimon. And I can show you in my party right now, we already have one. So these are the stats that you would need to uh, get this. 
So you need a level 60, 155 attack, and Boncho Leomon, 40 ABI. Everything's set here. So now I'll show you what happens when we combine both and we'll get the trophy. Now that we have all the requirements for Chaos Mon VA, you can see that all of them have red circles. So all we need to do now is Digivolve and we pick our other Digimon for the DNA Digivolution. And there we go, we got the Trophy Twin Chaos. And look at that, what a cool looking Digimon. And it keeps the name of whatever one you chose as the first one to select. The third trophy we're going to talk about will be Butterfly's Dream, which you have to just digivolve a Hoodiemon. So you can see for Hoodiemon, basically you want to start with either a Yokomon or Wormmon. And once you get to the certain requirements here, this is what you need for Hoodiemon. You need level 15 or higher, max SP is 40. 40 speed, 100% cam, and you need to clear the game. Those are the only requirements. So if you beat the game, be sure to when you boot up the game, you go to New Game Plus, and then you choose the file that you want to go to New Game Plus. One thing I want to make clear for the Hoodiemon Trophy you have to actually digivolve. The achievement is written as digivolve a hoodie mon. So if you de digivolve into hoodie mon, it doesn't count because I just had that happen. We have to digivolve. So we have the conditions ready. Let's digivolve in the hoodie mon. And there it is Butterfly's Dream Trophy. So don't do that common mistake. And there she is. Fourth trophy we're going to talk about is. Digimon Master, where we have to raise 300 different Digimon and register them in our field guide. So for this trophy, we need to register 300 Digimon. So as you can see here on my list, if you look at the top right hand corner, you'll see that I have found 295 Digimon, but I've only registered 232. So to actually tell which ones you've registered, you need to open up the menu, go to field guide, and you can see that there are three different options. You have this one where you can see the image, but it's it's grayed out a little bit. Here you have the image of the Digimon is nice and bright, and here you have a question mark. So the ones that you have that are nice bright color, these are the ones that you already own, or you already have registered. So what you're targeting are these grayed out ones and then the question marks. So just look at your total and then try to aim and get the ones that um, that you don't have anymore. The fifth trophy we're going to talk about today is today's fill. You just need to savor every flavor from the Internet Cafe's coffee maker. So to do so, you just need any access to this Internet Cafe. If you beat the game or get towards the end of the game, you may not be able to do this, but you can always do New Game Plus. You come over here into this area. You can see that there's X here. You just keep drinking coffee until you try all the different flavors. And there you go. So I just got today's fill. So rest assured it is random which coffee you flavor, but eventually you will get this trophy and it's a pretty simple trophy. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Digimon uh, trophy videos, be sure to check out my playlist on my channel. And if this video helped you in any way, please leave a like on it. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if there's anything more Digimon related you want to see, please leave it in the comments. And until next time, guys, peace out.